Hey guys, it's um, Monster Cameron here, and um, I almost feel like I owe you guys a, a, an explanation for the last video. Um, so I'm trying to do like like mini short stories. Um, so I just write a bunch of stuff, like three paragraphs worth, and I try to try to keep it as cryptic as possible. Um, so there's like a meaning within the words. Uh, that was my first attempt. Uh, I think it was pretty good, if, uh, if you ask me. Um, uh, what it really meant is, uh, well, what the, the imagery meant is that this guy who lost everything, um, I don't know, we don't know how he lost it, uh, he lost his family. And he wakes up, he doesn't want to in his bed with him. Uh, he thinks he walks through the halls, it's, it's quiet. You know, that's why uh, I say it was like, it was, it was, dead, it was as quiet as a mouse. But the, pic the imagery on the wall keeps screaming at him. So that's why I said it's screaming and screaming louder and louder. Because he keeps seeing the, the, the pictures of his family. And, um, you know, when, he, when I say he pierces through a crack and he sees, you know, something that speaks, that's, de that, you know, that's deeper than him. Or well, that, um, that's deeper than a mirror could let him see. You know, he's looking into, like, the, the baby's room or whatever. Maybe he cheated on his wife, maybe they died in a car accident, but whatever. But the point of the story was that um, things happen and you can't change the past. So what's left to do but to move on? If you don't move on, you're going uh, to be, um, you're gonna be in stasis. Uh, that could mean death, that could mean uh, mental problems, uh, or that could just mean um, bad habits, uh, just as a minimum requirement. So that was what the last one meant. So you just got to move on. You can't dwell on the past. Um, so I'm going to try to do a new one today. And um, comment if, uh, if you think you understand the meaning. Um, and I'm trying to get the right format for this kind of thing. But, um, but there you go. They were moving as one and he felt privileged to be a part of it. The leader was intense and he felt empowered when basking in his light. They went wherever the leader went, not unlike lemmings. They would follow him into situations and his first response is to always outsource the dirty work. There was one encounter where he felt obligated to handle it. There was an old man who gave two fucks. The old man was 82 and walking with a stick to aid his weakening body strength. They followed him into the darkness because it would conceal their despicable actions. He took the knife from the leader and proceeded towards the old man. He respectfully asked the old man to hand over the goods. The old man paid no attention with his level of fucks now a fuck. He went to grab the old man, but to his surprise, the old man swung around the walking stick. He began to swing and poke, and upon further inspection, he was no joke. Had he not used the knife and swallowed his pride, he wouldn't be in jail 25 to life. 